it's Aislinn here and welcome back to my crafting channel if you are returning. Welcome if you are new. Uh, I mostly have talked about cross stitch on this channel in the past but I am wanting to expand out to show you some of my other hobbies and crafts and since I am sitting down to start another big ass diamond painting like this thing is huge. Um, I thought you know what Let, let's Let's film it. Let's film it and showcase it. I'll give you my thoughts as I go. I am not a very fast diamond painter, so this could take a while. Um, I might have to make a playlist. I'm not really sure. <laughs> but uh, this is not the biggest diamond painting I have ever done. Uh, that record goes to one that is, was almost double this size um, that I got... Uh, a few years ago off AliExpress. I have shown it a couple other times on this channel, um, but I was mostly done it by the time I showed it. And uh, I don't buy off AliExpress anymore for varying reasons, uh, but one of them being I can't guarantee where the artwork comes from. And uh, that was one thing that I really liked about um, Paint with Diamonds once I learned about them was they license all their artwork and they offer these big diamond paintings. And I have found my favorite diamond paintings are these big ones. Um, at least from the one massively huge one that was bigger than this that I did. <laughs> I'm hoping I love this one as much. It is 48 colors. It is 100 by 75 centimeters. At the time when I bought this, which was actually two years ago, um, this was the biggest this chart came in. I do believe now on their website there is one even bigger. I want to say it's 190 by 105. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but it's, um, pretty sure it's 190 by something. Um, this is a square drill, I believe. Yeah, this is a square drill kit. Um, it comes incredibly well packaged. I don't think that has changed in the last couple of years. Um, they come in little baggies. I personally transfer them over to this. Um, I also have a round version of this and a couple other little versions. These are just cheap little nail art things I got off Amazon to store all my diamonds in. And uh, yeah, so just be aware this is an older chart, uh, an older kit. It is possible that things have changed, so some of the downsides that I'm going to probably end up mentioning, more than likely end up mentioning, um, that could very well have changed with, with you know, uh, when I bought from them, they had only been in business three years. Um, you know, they've now got a few couple more years under their belt. They have certainly grown. Um, I've seen their website change and expand and um you know and uh just grow as a company uh they are amazing to work with they have the best customer service when things go wrong at least in my experience so far <laughs> um i've had i've done two other kits by them um one did have an issue with a wrong color being received a couple uh that was about uh, that was a couple years ago was the first one i did from them um, they were really quick to correct that issue. Uh, the second kit I did very recently, it also had issues uh, with not having enough diamonds of two pri primary colors. Um, I reached out to their customer service, haven't really got much of a response back. However, it's been two years. I, I'm not going to hold that against them. That was on me. I shouldn't have waited so long to, to start working on it. Um, you know, if uh, if I get the colors to finish it completely, great. Uh, if I don't, I'm I'm going to hold it against the kit itself for not having enough colors, but I'm not going to hold it against the company, um, you know, for <laughs> for uh, a problem that is, uh, you know, years old. Um, they uh, obviously it was something they didn't know about and, uh, you know, was probably fixed long before I made my complaint. So. Uh, yeah, anyway, um, this is just plain old baking paper. Um, it does come, or this one came with a white film. 
I do not like the white film. I like to be able to see where my things are, so I swapped it out and I sectioned each. Uh, let's see if I can pull one up here. Each little section on um, you know the size I like to work with. I don't even know how many sections there are. I never counted them. I probably should have. This is actually something I learned from Diamonds and Washi here on YouTube. I uh, I used to just leave like it blank on the edges. Um, and then, of course, all the guck would get in the over glue, right? Because they always give more glue than needed. Uh, you always have that little bit of, like, border. Uh, and they'd get so gross. And uh, I was watching her, and she puts washi tape down. So I'm going to give it a try on this one. This is my first time trying it. Well, give it a try. See how it works. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much it. I don't want to get too rambly. The only negative that I have seen so far in just kind of first impressions set up that kind of thing is uh, the color chart is only on one side of the painting um, last time or the other times I've worked on on um, large er paintings I uh, definitely worked when I worked on the absolute giant one that color chart was actually on both sides uh, so that no matter which way you turned the painting you had access to the color chart um, this one doesn't have that so I actually went and I took a photo of the color chart and then I just printed it off um, you know and actually took actually take actually bleh, sorry English actually had to take a couple photos so I could get them nice and clear quality for printing <laughs> So, I mean, I will, I do have a paper copy I can work off of, so it doesn't matter what way I turn this. Um, I will have access to the color chart. This may have changed with newer kits. Uh, it's just for this particular one, this older kit, that is the only thing that I could foresee uh, being a pain in the butt if you didn't have the ability to, say, take a photo or have access to a printer or whatever or didn't know to do that and started working on it and being like oh I've always got to change this you know uh, it happens uh, yeah so that's it for now and I will let you all know what I think as I'm working on it and of course I will share my progress from start to finish um, just so you see how it all comes together and yeah and then depending on how this turns out I may or may not um, buy an updated version of this to do again just to see if old and new kits are different. Uh, I haven't decided. I have so many kits to do though so I don't know. But yeah, anyway, uh, that's enough rambling. I have said that like a couple times now so I'm heading out. I'm gonna get some work done on this and I will share some thoughts with you once I get a section or two done uh, and show you how it's coming along. Bye.